Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are going to be testing out some third-party RAM on the three most mm, dominant enterprise server brands that would be Lenovo, Dell and HP original branded RAM for either of these major brands usually costs a bit more than if you're able to find some third-party RAM like this um, Kingston RAM here these are 16 GB blocks DDR3 1333 megahertz R DIMMs PC3 10600R these are right now selling for about 28 euros on the brand new My Playhouse shop at www.myplayhouse.dk forward slash shop <coughs> oh. Editing Morton what an unexpected honor to have you drop in. I was just... Yes, just what are you doing? We are supposed to be promoting bargain hardware in this video. Yes, I was gonna mention them, but I thought that we just might try and sell off some of all the stuff that... All the good stuff that yeah. we need to make videos with? Really? We don't need all of it. I made that shop so that you could sell that diesel fader kit. And it really does not look like it's gonna make either of us rich at no anytime soon. I'm sure it will help now that you fixed the system so that the audience can actually use the payment system. That awesome deal that we have made with Bargain Hardware is that you promote them in the start of the video. You tell the audience that they get 5% off of all hardware purchases on Bargain Hardware if they use the promo code MYPLAYHOUSE at the checkout. The awesome thing about this deal is that we don't have to do anything more than that. We just have to lean back and wait for our part to pay for that yard. You know, I get seasick. And by the way, have you looked at that yard that you have been talking about? Um, you might want to Google that at some point. Well, salesman said that it would comfortably accommodate a dinner party of six. Well, yes, he did actually not lie. Six people is very nice. It has a flat bottom, hard wood, minimalistic design and a good fuel economy. Don't change the subject here. Just what am I gonna be telling Adam over from Bargain Hardware when he finds out that we are direct in competing against them? I would maybe mention that it's just a tiny shop. There is only like 60 things. 60 products? You're supposed to just put that bloody disulfator kit up there. Not fucking try to compete with eBay or Amazon. We do not have that many of anything. We will run out really quick. And most of it is just our old crap like this stuff. Oh, that crap. Yeah, okay, if you can get that kind of money out of some moron. Um, bargain hardware has that stuff too, and often uh, way cheaper. Yes, yes, I might not tell them that. And uh, bargain hardware has so many products over there that, well, they might never find it over there anyway. Okay, but if Adam over at bargain hardware starts to make trouble, I'm blaming you. Sure. Then we'll just invite him out for a dinner invitation on the yard. I hear that he's not a strong swimmer. Whatever. Yeah, I hate that guy. He's always getting on my nerves. <laughs> but yeah, if you go over to bargainhardware.co.uk, um, yeah, you get 5% off if you check out with the promo code MYPLAYHOUSE. Small letters, one word. And do check out my Playhouse shop which I might have been putting somewhere here around something yeah and and we are gonna be testing out some RAM I have these Kingston blocks and I really want to check if they work in the Lenovo server here I'm thinking about the Lenovo X3650 model 2 then I want to try them in the Hewlett Packard the DL380 generation 6 which I have and then on the shelf over here I have a Dell R710 that we might also just try and put some RAM in, see if that will work. So this server already had 64 gigabytes of RAM and for time saving I just took it out and it's over here on my little table and all that RAM down there is going to be replaced by these four blocks here. These are four gigabyte blocks, those two stacks up there 
then there is four eight gigabyte blocks right there and we are replacing those with four 16 gigabyte blocks so yeah let's pop that in and on a Lenovo slash IBM 3650 model 2 there is a little help here on the left on how to put those RAM blocks in so CPU number one I need to put a RAM block in number three and number six and then CPU 2 that would be 11 and 14 um, if I really wanted the optimal performance out of this server I would uh, put in six blocks so that it would have a RAM block in each of the three memory banks but well we're just gonna put in four today on this plastic thingy that I took out to uh, to reveal the RAM or take it out there is one two three and the numbering of the blocks is there and also over here it says uh, 9 10 11 so we can kind of use that to see where the block goes and then number 11 and number 14 over here so we're booting the server now and it's initializing the memory and the IMM and all of that good stuff I am expecting that it will run these 64 gigabytes of memory no problem whatsoever booted it into the BIOS setting so uh, system information system summary we can see there is two CPUs in here these are the Intel Xeon 5650s they are 2.67 gigahertz further down we can see that ooh, it sees 64 gigabytes of memory and the memory is running top speed of 1333 megahertz so all is good um, if you do fill this server entirely up with memory the frequency will drop down to 1066 because of the way that the memory channels work on the IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 2 and 3 same thing with the model 3 the model 3 has two more memory slots this one has 16 memory slots the model 3 has 18 memory slots but I'll take the RAM out and we'll try it in the HP server instead so over here in rack 2 we have the well the HP Proliant DL380 generation 6 sitting and oh we haven't messed with this for ages this is a really good server very stable when um, when this was new and yeah it ran really well um, I do expect that my server here still runs really well probably should have tested it before we are taking it apart but now let's take it apart and see if we can get this up and running with the those RAM instead so the generation 6 has this um, big tray here on top that we need to remove it uh, has all the riser cards and stuff on it and yeah power is off of course so um, it has two blue handles over here that you push pull up and we take this out and you can see the riser cards there only um, x8 slots but yeah then we can get to this plastic bit down here underneath that is the processors and the CPU hidden away there we are two processors in this and fully occupied with RAM I do believe that this is 4 gigabyte RAM as far as I remember there's 72 gigabytes of RAM in this server but we will find that out in just a second let's see 4 gigabyte check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there is 18 slots and there is 4 gigabyte of RAM in each of them so I'm taking that out on the inside of the lid of the DL380 generation 6 there is also a bit of help for configuring the memory you can kind of see that CPU 1 has three RAM uh, banks and CPU 2 has three RAM banks and the fastest thing is that if you put in a memory block in each of the RAM banks or memory banks so that you occupy well for optimal performance you would put a block in number three six and nine here it's pretty much the same as the Lenovo slash IBM x3650 model 3 the memory configuration is about the same because it's the same chipset that the two servers use Intel chipsets and it's all dependent on the CPUs in here so we're gonna kind of be doing exactly the same as on the model 2 we're gonna be putting it in number 3 and number 6 we also did that over there but here on CPU 2 they choose to also call those from 1 to 9 whereas on the 
Lenovo slash IBM, they, they continue up into the higher numbers instead. The first slot in each bank is marked as a white one. So you kind of occupy the white ones first and then you go over and, and start on the black ones after that. Seems right, so let's put that in. So we're downgrading this server a little bit. It goes from 72 gigabytes of RAM down to 64 gigabytes of RAM. So we are kind of losing two of those four gigabyte blocks there. Who came up with this? <clears throat> Okay, I powered that. It's, uh, it's making rather a lot of noise right now. I hope it stops doing that. Okay, I was getting nervous here. It took so long to get to this screen that I thought that something was wrong. But, well, I'm sure we're gonna get in there now. Okay, it has figured out that the memory configuration has changed. So it uh, did some configuring on that. So I wonder if it's, um, it's gonna approve that or if we are well, it did uh, write that we have 64 gigabytes of memory. So let's go into the BIOS and see what it um, what it has for us in there. <laughs> Oops! It seems that I haven't updated this um, firmware on this server ever. It's from 2010. So um, yeah, guess I don't use it that much. Where do we find some RAM information? I can't really find anything, but it does say uh, that it has 64 gigabytes of memory right there. So maybe we should just try and boot the server and um, see what it comes up with. P410i controller in here. Hmm? Nice. Okay, it does not seem that I have anything to boot on here, so it's just going around and around and around. So um, yeah, but the RAM did work. It, um, it showed up and I have all the confidence in the world that it would work just fine. So the last server that I want to test is the Dell PowerEdge R710 and I have a lucky contestant right here. So I have disconnected power. It was on the, on the shelf in the, in the data center so I just moved it in here and I well it's not full of RAM but there is some RAM in it so yeah we're gonna take that out and we're gonna put in those uh, four 16 gigabyte blocks instead. Been a while since I've had this open, so I have no idea. It's probably four gigabyte blocks. It eight gigabyte blocks. Okay, so we are kind of going to be replacing 64 gigabytes of memory with 64 gigabytes of memory. So that's cool enough. And um, here you can kind of see they have the same system that the white slots are the first one that you occupy, and then when you move on from that, you put in the next one in the black one. So, um, yeah, they're all 8 gigabyte blocks. Like on the other two servers, there is kind of a little help here on the back of the LED to how to put in that memory. Okay, on this plastic, it also tells me what, what memory blocks goes where. So, A1 and A2 is probably the ones for the first CPU, and B1 and B2. I would expect would be the ones for the second CPU. Okay, I have populated A1 and A2, B1 and B2. So yeah, let's try that. If it yells at me, I might have to do something different. Okay, so we are ready to try and turn this on. If you like Dell servers, you should go over and check out Onky Joe's over at Onky Joe's Playhouse. He, um, he likes Dell servers and uh, he has a couple of these 710 R's is that the other way yeah R710 and he just got a R720 which he is always changing configurations on <laughs> yeah power on yeah and it makes a noise just to start with I'm sure it's gonna slow down at some point so let's see what happens yep something is turning up so that is always a good sign if nothing comes on the screen, well, we might be in trouble. Yeah, this is all good. The memory that comes out of this is about the same stuff. It's also, well, this is only eight gigabytes of memory, but it's PC3 RAM and it's 10600R. So it's the same generation of RAM and it's the same clock frequency. And well, I haven't updated this in forever either. 
we should probably go to the system setup entering it's uh, it's complaining down here alert advanced ecc memory mode disabled memory configuration does not support advanced blah 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 i'm gonna check that out memory setting it does see the 64 gigabytes it has well it's not running full speed okay there is nothing wrong with the way that i have configured this memory i put them in the right order and um, it has two of these e5530s which is a 2.4 gigahertz intel xeon processor and this cpu is only able to handle memory frequencies up to 1066 megahertz that's why it's not running 1333 megahertz so the memory is working in here it turns up as 64 gigs of memory no problem there either this server there is also some pci cards that i don't believe that i'm ever gonna be needing in this server uh, so we're gonna take those out and they might just be available in the my playhouse store when you see this video this is a four port one gigabit ethernet card it's an intel one well there is oh there are some numbers there that we can look up so yeah getting rid of those when you have a lot of cards in the server um, they use power to no reason whatsoever these are four gigabit fiber channel cards one port and they will also be available i'm gonna take those 16 gigabyte blocks out again and i'm gonna put in some of the eight gigabytes so that Kingston memory, which I have put right there, um, works in those three servers, which I was very curious uh, about. It will work flawlessly in the Lenovo X3650s, model two, three, and four. Yeah. And the Hewlett Packard DL380 generation six, also good. The Dell R710, it shows up, it works, it whined about it, but well, it did boot and it did show up and I do expect everything would be good. Um, I got some leftovers here now that I um, I took out all of the RAM that I didn't think I was ever going to be needing in these three servers because there's really no reason to have stacks of memory in servers that well it's just on the shelf up here and if I really need a lot of memory in a video I will be putting it in anyway. By the time you see this I will have updated my store with this stuff. There's eight gigabyte blocks out of the Dell there is four gigabyte blocks out of the IBM slash Lenovo. There is four gigabyte blocks out of the Hewlett Packard. There is fiber optic, four gigabyte cards um, for SAN. And there is four ports, one gigabit ethernet cards out of the Dell. And of course there is 16 gigabyte Kingston RAM also in the store. If I don't have it in my store, Remember that you can go over to Bargain Hardware. And yeah, you know the drill. 5% off if you check out with My Playhouse in the promo code. So, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. Yeah.